guys, how's it going? I'm Rob Pye. Today I have a new video planned for you. Um, I'm going to talk about how to make a cinemagraph. It's actually really easy. Uh, most people do it in Photoshop. I, I, I prefer to, do, to make mine in Premiere Pro because I just think it's a little more easier. Uh, so what I have planned today is just pouring water in this cup. Um, I don't have a plain white cup, so you're just going to be looking at a piece of toast for a while. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get on Premiere and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so when you get into Premiere, well first you want to open up Premiere and import the, the file you want to use. Uh, so I have the clip here, I just called uh, Cinema Clip, so we'll drag that into the timeline and we don't really we don't need the audio for this so we're just going to delete that so this is what you get so far when you recorded so everything's all moving um, if you want to loop the playback like the, the playback like I have it you click this little uh, you click the settings icon right here it's a little wrench click it and then you just go down to loop right here and then when it's not looped you know it just stops right stops at the end so when I'm doing a cinema graph I use the loop feature so I don't have to worry about it I can like when I make when I uh, make this in graph I can like watch it and make sure it's like looking good so first what you want to do is you want to find the point like in the middle of the clip where you want the the cinema graph to be because you don't want it at the beginning because as you can see I haven't I'm starting to pour it so that wouldn't really work unless that's what you're going for. I'm just going for like one long looping flow of water from this uh, bottle to the cup. And then I kind of, my hand kind of jerks at the end. Let's see, huh, I might have I might have cut it out, but my hand was, my hand jerked at the end, so I'll probably cut it out already. Uh, so what you want to do is find a nice, let's see, a nice still spot where you aren't moving that much. So let's see, probably say, let's cut it right there. Cut that. So we have this. Now this looks all jumpy and such right now. Um, what we wanna do is copy and paste it over here, click on it. Make sure you're at the, make sure you're at the, the front of the clip, the, the beginning of the clip. You go over here to clip, video options, add frame hold. So what that does is nothing's moving. So you drag that to the top. So when you play it back, it's just still water. So you just you. Click, you click on the clip that you have the, um, the the frame hold on, so it's just one solid frame. You go to the editing tab, which I'm already on. Opacity, you go to the your your, uh, your free draw bezier, and then what I do is I zoom into 150, so I can just quickly add a little mask. So when I play it, oh, got to gotta invert it, of course. Don't don't want to forget that. Oh, okay. So when it plays, just that is flowing. You can kind of see the cup right here moving a bit, and the bottle. Uh, but that's because you're zoomed in really close. So if you're zoomed out, you don't really see that. So that's how you get a the. We want to say like the. The still image, but like the moving, the cinemagraph. I can't believe I forgot that word. Um, and then what I do, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, if I want want it more looping, I can reverse the clip, reverse the speed. I mean, um, sometimes it doesn't work. It depends on it. It really depends on what it is. Um, so if we play it back now, you'll see that I'm moving because I forgot to drag the, 
frame over. So when you play it back, it just loops. Pretty perfect loop too, if I do say so myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how you make a cinema graph. It's, act it's really easy. Um, you can do it in Photoshop. It's a little bit of a different, um, little bit of a different process. Um, I do most of my editing in Premiere because I I'm more comfortable editing videos in Premiere. But yeah, that's how you'd make a cinematograph. It's actually really easy, and then all you have to do is just export it as an MP4 or whatever format you're going for. I export it as MP4. Um, yeah, um, so that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Uh, sorry, it was a well, not sorry. I don't know. Depending on how you like my videos, uh, it was this is a pretty short video. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.